Jess. I'm doing a post review on the Tiger Mantra um, from Diamond Art Club. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. You guys saw, I'm sorry, I don't remember when. But you guys saw it. And I wanted to do a post review. Let me show you something though. It's really random. I found this. Um, it was in my, I'm a retired makeup artist and this was in my makeup room. This is a CD that my ex husband used to listen to. So, um, he lived in Germany for like six years and he graduated high school in Germany. So he listened, this is like what he listened to, um, when he was a young teenager. Um, the group is called Fundeskreis. Listen, it's a pretty good album, actually. It's in German. Um, it's like German rap, hip hop, um, from the nineties. I found the cover. I didn't find the, the CD wasn't in there, but I sent him a picture of the cover and he was like, oh, wow. And I was like, I know. So it's pretty funny. Um, okay, let's get back to, um, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. So I picked this up. It was, it's a Christopher Lavelle, um, and I saw Nurse Rachel um, unbox it, and I was like, yep, I guess this is going to be my first Christopher one. So Christopher is kind of known as uh, Miranda from Diamond Painting with Best. He likes to say dark art, right? So this one does have a little bit of something, because I know you can't see it here. Hold on. I'm going to put that tray down there for a second. I'll come back to it. Um, there are two skulls at the bottom. Right down here. I'm just going to fold it. Two skull, like unicorn people skull? <laughs> I don't know. They have horns. So, anyway, I wanted to do a post review. It, this is my first finished Diamond Art Club um, Diamond Art painting or diamond painting. So the drills, like everyone knows, are super sparkly. It looks like, <clears throat> it looks like liquid. I'm looking at it right now. They look like liquid. The 310. Now, okay. So let's start with all the positives. I love how it came out. It was a dream to work on. The drills fit very nicely. Most of them fit very nicely. I do have a lot of trash. I will show you guys. Um, when I get to that, I'll tell you the story a little bit behind that. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, there were two mm -hmm. special drills. The This one right here is L743. And then there's uh, a crystal L5200. Um, it's like you can see it's sparkling through like the butterfly wings. Um, over here, like the little sparkles through the flowers, the unit um, on the flowers, uh, a couple on the skull horns here, and there's a butterfly right there. So, um, the special drills were nice. The colors, I loved the colors. I loved the colors. Everything was really smooth with this kit. Like, it just went, it, it went fast, but then it went slow. So, if you guys saw on Instagram, I showed that I was doing this, right? So the thing is I started, I hope you got, I hope this is not, I'm just going to move this for one second. I started, I was so excited to start. A, um, this is, like I said, this is my first finished Diamond Art Club painting. I had purchased from um, Hobby Lobby, Every Tree Has a Soul with the five different trees, but I've, I haven't finished that yet. I think I'm on tree number three or four maybe there's six trees anyway um but i really wanted to get started in this when i unboxed it and saw this big swath of um black i was like it didn't matter that it was black it just mattered that it was this big thing of color blocking i was like i do not want to start there like i was too excited to get into the painting so what I did is I started, like, I, you guys might have seen, but I had, like, a big piece of tape here, and I just left this, and I was like, I'll do that in the end, you know? Then I started, and I went right to left. 
just that's how I did it in this kit. And I did the whole thing and it was beautiful and it was great. And when I got to these sides over here where the black kind of, you know, in, you know, cause it's a triangle. So it got more black and black on the side or more, I should say color blocking on the side. I was like, oh, it's so annoying. So what I really started doing, I started making these sections small here um, like the line across, so I would bang it out quick, but then I would only have this little chunk of the um, color blocking to do because I, I don't mind like this right here is color blocked, and not even a lot because there's like different colors in those. Um, but like that's the only little place that's color blocking is over here and on the top. So I was just like, yeah, by the time I got to down here, um, I was like very much over the whole like having to do this much section of black but it really started going like pretty fast i think i was using up to a 15 placer at one point now when i got to the bottom let me show you this so i got to the bottom here and i was like oh there's like so and so rows and then i remember i still have to do the top <laughs> so i was like should i cut it i was this close to cutting off the top section you can see here the top section I counted it kind of I believe it's like 46 um, drills up and down from where I stopped it and over here is probably like 20 something so I was like should I just trim it I really was about to trim it then I was like no I want to complete a whole one I don't want to do anything to it so I left it alone um that's my only mistake in doing this. So I've done kits before that had color blocking, but most of the kits were a lot smaller than this. Mind you, this one is a 22 inch by 28 inch or um, 55.8 centimeters by 70.7 centimeters. Um, so it's, everyone thinks, I guess everyone normally says that this is like the average size diamond art club, but this, like I said, this is my first diamond art club. I've done kits around this size before, but not in this orientation and definitely not this color blocking. So because I started right here, basically the line where the uh, butterfly wings start all the way across and then went down, there was a lot of color obviously here. So by the time I got to the bottom and the top I was like I am so I didn't want to do one like I didn't want to do it not that I didn't want to do it it wasn't fun doing that part so what I decided and I do sections I've done sections where I've sectioned off the whole thing before I've done sections where I just do row by row and then just kind of bend it where I feel like doing it that day you know the whole thing I've done it where you like line up all the washi tape that for me that just really waste washi tape what i do is i just use one line of tape across and then move that down and then cut you know trim it and then peel it back put the cover minor just like bend it you know like fold it back and then do what i'm doing over here or across um so with that being said i did that and what I should have done, what I'm going to do in the future, when I do have something where there's a big piece of color blocking, um, either on the top and the bottom or just, you know, like it's in the center and everything else is one or two colors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off those pieces up top. So just like how you would section it off. So I would section all the way across and then make marked sections. And then say I'm doing here, I'm in the middle of this and it's like, oh, you know, um, confetti happen over here and then I'm like you know I need a little break let me do this section then I come back over here oh let me do I need a little break of just um, um, color blocking and do another section so that's what I'm gonna do next time let's get into the drills so they're like liquid they're like liquid you can see it right here they do make the canvas very nice and heavy which I like I am gonna hang this up in my boys room I think um, I am going to go around and tape off the sides like I do with all my diamond paintings. I might actually leave the edge because it's that finished, um, that finished edge. So I'll just put the tape around, you know, like right to the edge so it has a little bit of a border. So I thought that was cool to do. Because um, sometimes I cut them, I trim them, and then 
put the tape around this I'm sorry the scotch tape expressions tape around the side but I figured I wanted to do a little bit wider this time um, I do hang my diamond painting so if it's a diamond painting that I've purchased it's because I plan on hanging it somewhere I have a plan or I would I would want it in my home I don't ever really want to make it just to make it like I'm I'm making them for the fun of it but also I want to enjoy it so I have them hanging on my in my hallway uh, I never used a um I didn't use a lot but I just bought a new notebook from happy planner and I'm going to be starting a um a log book um I'm just going to enter this and just put the date that I finished which was yesterday last night um so, um, yeah, so that's not going to do for that. So I'm not going to do the start date, just the end date. I already have a plan on what's coming next, but let me show you the jewels from this one and then we'll come back. So I'm going to put this on the floor for now. It, it's in this that I got from Amazon, like the Elizabeth Ward. I now have two so I can, cause this is, this is obviously not all just from one. I have two. Um, what I did is I used my little sticker here and I tested it. It better come off now because I tested it and it did come off before. Yeah, it's peeling up. So I'll peel this up, um, rip it off, and then this is just going to go in the trash because I have this. This is going to go in my log book. Um, so I will show you. These are the drills that I have left. So here's my second one. You'll see the middle size and the, the, the second middle, the middle size, and the large ones. Now, I had six containers of 310. This is all the 310 that I have left um, from the kit. This is not all trash. It's just the 310s that are left. How I originally had them, I had them in number order, not which, which is DMC order for Diamond Art Club. Um, but then I was more searching for the symbol than doing the diamond painting because diamond art club doesn't go like all all numbers and then all letters they mix it up so what i did is i did all letters or i did actually all numbers first then i did all letters and then i did symbols that made sense to me like i did math symbols um then i did um you know just this was math symbols too and then i did arrows i did anything with a dot I did um, just some other check marks, just some other symbols, some shapes I did here. Um, and then I did uh, just, you know, randoms at the end. And then these were in order. So this is, this was two. This is all the extra. But I will not be keeping, maybe I'll keep like a small baggie of these. Like I'm really not going crazy because... They were so, there was a lot of tabs in these. And speaking of that, let me get to it now. I documented this on um, Instagram. Well, I don't have a lot of square drills. So I'm going to revisit storing my leftovers because I really very rarely use them. I need to find something really cool to do with them. If you guys have any idea ideas let me know I do have downstairs in my house a collection when I worked in a restaurant I was a man I was a server and then I became a manager a full-time manager um, at a at a private restaurant where you could bring your own wine so customers would finish the bottle of wine at dinner and leave the bottle and if the bottle was interesting I would tell the staff hey hold that for me I'm gonna rinse it out and take it home so that's what I would do and I have I have maybe a collection, and I used to do this when I was young, too. I, I just like bottles. So, um, I have a collection of about, I would say about 45 to 50 wine glass bottles. Some alcoholic bottles, but just, I mean, some other types of alcohol, but mostly wine. Um, so, if I have a really cool clear one, I'm thinking of doing, um, filling it with drills. And I was originally thinking of only doing round drills, but I might just mix it because I don't know if I have that many leftovers. Anyway, let me show you the trash. So there are a couple of times where I dumped three tens into this by accident instead of back into this. So there's more three tens in here than um, 
they're not all trash, but I knew I was going to have more than enough, so I didn't, like, just, you know, change them or anything. Now, some of them are sticking because I had to take some off after I put them on the canvas, so that means the, there's a little bit of residue um, on the bottom, so some of them are sticking. Every single color... So, like I said, not all of the black that is in here or 310 that's in here is wrong. I have a lot of, like, just extra pieces. I have a lot of, um, one thing that drove me crazy were these special drills that basically looked like they, they weren't cut, like they, they weren't faceted. Um, I posted this on Instagram you can see that it looks like, um, hopefully I'm zoomed in, but you can see that it looks like there was no facet. It looks flat. But most of these are just, you know, tabs galore on every color is represented in here. We have some big chunks like so, a lot of trash, holes, um, just weird pieces. I've got a round in here. Um, I think only like one or two rounds. Um, uh, you know, just pieces of the drills, misshapen drills, the tabs were every color pretty, mm, no, I couldn't say every color had a tab. Um, every color had holes in them and every company is going to have that. I even had, look at this one. I had one where it was like a split color. Hold on. I'm surprised that one like popped up kind of. But it was like two different colors. It was almost like it got bleached in the sun. I don't know if you could see that. This one right here. Let me hold it still for a little bit. Like two colors in one. Not a lot though. I mean, compared to how big it was, it's not bad. Every company gets trash drills. And you can see that I didn't run out of any color. There, I'm going to de-kit so I can kit up my next one. My next one is City Lights by uh, Diamond Dots. I need to do a round. <laughs> so thank you for watching, guys. I'm gonna. I'm super excited. I'm off tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing that done. And the other one that I'm doing, the City Lights, is a partial. So hopefully it goes rather quickly. And I feel like it's gonna a lot of be a lot of linear color blocking. I'm super excited. That one's going to go on my wall in my bedroom. Um, so I'm excited about that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any other questions, this one is Tiger Mantra from Christopher Lavelle. I finished it yesterday. And I'm going to say it took me about a month to do. Hey guys, so I just wanted to wrap up at the end. This is the bag of all of the leftover drills. This is the bag with the trash. I'm just going to throw this out. And then these are the ones that I ended up saving. That's it. Just a, ha a little bitty bag of 310. And then the rest of those. These are just the colors that I was like, oh, I really like those. Yeah, I know I'm pinks and purples kind of girl. But I j there was not enough of them. There wasn't even enough um, 550, which is my favorite purple. So I didn't keep those. And if you made it all the way to the end, leave me a tiger or um, a moth or a unicorn. Because tiger, moth, and unicorn. Okay, bye guys.